Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for nice, all the nice links. Uh, also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So there you go. Um, we need a function. We need a few functions in our uh, in our components. And what we got to do is we got to think. So. What happens when we collide into something? We need to make sure the movement component can get us. It does give us the velocity. That is good. It does give us the max velocity as well. So we're going to have to use that in order to get the next position of the player. So we're going to have to use that. Uh, then we're going to need. Wait, I needed something. What did I just say? I, I needed to. I needed to reset the uh so open up movement component the dot h i need to reset oh i need to move this as well yeah i need to reset the thing the velocity um i'm just gonna look at okay very interesting i don't think i need okay might as well copy that no, that's in the CPP. Wait, I can just remove all of this. What am I doing? I don't need any of that. That's so weird that I had that. Um, okay, there you go. Sorry about that. Now, functions. Get state is good. Void. Um, stop. City. Stop velocity, I guess. that's uh, That could be a good name for a function. So we're going to stop the velocity. Um... And we're going to define this function right down here. And what the hell? Okay, yeah. And all it's going to do is it's just going to reset reset the velocity to 0 to 0. There you go. This velocity.x equals 0. Velocity.y Okay, very simple. We would maybe want to customize this. Um, so let's stop velocity. Now we need the stop velocity x and y. Uh, x and y. Now you're like, why are we making three functions? We could just make one with an enum and shit, you know, blah, 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 blah. Whatever, it's easier to call like this. I don't want to have to send in a parameter each time. So it's going to be a little easier for us. Uh, stop velocity x, this velocity x equals uh, uh, this velocity y equals uh, 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 zero. And there you go. Now we have a few functions um, in here. Now I have been commenting and I've been a good boy in this component. So I'm going to keep commenting in here. Um, whatever. You can understand what this does. You write this however the hell you want to do it. This works for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now, all it does is just resets everything. And it, it is the x, uh, the velocity that keeps track of how fast the sprite is moving. So, so there you go. Once you do that, we're stopped. We're stopped. Anywhere you do that, you're stopped. Uh, now, what we shall do is we shall close the movement component and instead go into game state tile map uh, update collision set position okay okay we could stop velocity in all of these but that's a pain in the butt um, we're gonna have to do it though uh, Entity get, hmm, hmm, entity, should we have a, okay, so the movement component takes care of all that stuff for me, hmm, I don't want to get movement component, I think that's too long, uh, it is a little too long. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, 
virtual. Maybe we want to do something else with it. Stop velocity like that. So we're going to have to define these again, I guess. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to define these again. I'm sorry, guys. Probably going to have to do that. But it shouldn't be too hard. We just need to do X and Y. So I don't want to get the move. I really don't. I don't I don't like doing that. I don't like getting the movement component and then doing shit and checking stuff outside. This will make sure we check everything inside of the class of the entity class. So it makes it a little better for us because we could just check this movement component in here each time. Um, like that. And then we can say this. Uh, movement component uh, stop velocity and then we can just use that in here X and we can do something else in this function later if we want to we can redefine them in player if we want to it doesn't really matter but this this is this is a example of lots of extra functions for you know uh, something that we could have done with one function, but it doesn't matter. You know what? We'll just do it like this. Uh, let me think. Stop velocity. Uh, if it's less than, so what's that? Stop velocity y? That would be, right? Because we're going up. So now we'll be able to test these out. Uh, else if, god damn. Okay. Uh, entity. Well, Wait, is this X? No, this is this is uh, this is X. Okay, Let's just paste that in. Stop velocity X, uh, and then this is gonna be stop velocity Y. Uh, there you go. So this is gonna be stop velocity Y. Whoops, we could do this. In a different way as well. We could do this in the. Uh, we could send in collide x and y or something or whatever. We'll we'll look at it later. But at least this should work now. So hopefully, if I run this, it shouldn't bug out. Um, yeah. All right. We're good. I'm sorry, guys. I'm all over the. I'm all over the place right now. Uh, yeah. So that stops the velocity completely. Doesn't bug anything out. Stops the you can it, st it keeps animating but doesn't really matter. Uh, you know it's at least it stops the velocity. That's the important part. And it it makes it less floaty and weird. So yeah. No big deals. All working. Now we're gonna have to work out how we're gonna do with these other boxes. So a way we do collision is that we check where the player is gonna be in the next frame. And we check that position for a collision. And if it is a collision, then we don't move the player. We actually set the player's position to uh, as close to the wall as could be possible. Could be possible, excuse me. Uh, so to do that, we're going to have to uh, get the hitbox component. And one thing I'm going to do in the hitbox component is I'm actually going to have a SF float rect position. Okay, next position. All right, I'm going to have that. And we can get that. And the reason I'm doing this is so we don't have to redefine this all the time. We'll always be using it a lot. So I'm, uh, I'm going to keep it there. All right. Now the next position for now. Uh, whoops, what did I do? Okay. Um, the next position for now is not going to be anything. But we're going to get a get next position here. That's what I'm going to create. So const sf float rec now i can do a reference because i know it's defined in here so yeah position okay float rec get next position okay and the magic here is going to be the sf vector 2f reference uh, velocity okay uh, and i'm just going to do a const in here and this is going to be changing some stuff right i think well Hmm, const. Hmm. No, it's it can't be const because we'll be changing the get next position. So I'm define that. Go in here, and this is gonna be the last part of the video before I end. But this is going to be uh, this next position. 
all right and then this next position dot top no left equals all right uh, this hitbox dot get position all right dot x plus velocity dot x all right we're just going to do that just to see whatever 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 the hell's going on and this is already multiplied by delta time so i don't think we have to do anything else about that um and then whoops come on dude got all day there you go so next position dot uh top is going to be the same thing but with the y okay um that's going to be the next position's y and then this okay and then the width and the height of it we're going to actually just set that once up here um right in here this next position left equals 0 0.f this next position dot top 0 0.f this next position width equals width this next position height equals height so we don't have to redefine those all the time that will save us some computation right here all right and we'll add those to uh, velocity so that's that's great there you go now we'll be able to get the next position all the time all right and that's great that's great that is great we could create a little box just to see where the next position is at all times later but this should be fine anyway um where is it said get next position okay that will help us out a lot that will help us out a lot now we can check that for intersects hitbox get global bounds intersects that is good all right all right guys and girls i think that's it for now I was just thinking a little bit what we will do but that that seems fine but thank you so much for sticking with me thanks for watching I uh, hope you learned something and this is a uh, step one in some uh, in making the collision with the, with the with the tiles. So there you go. Thank you so much. Take care. Keep working hard and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye bye.